Hi friends, in today's lecture, we will study 10 awesome usages of flash film. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the subject. In the first example over here, you will see that in the first column, we have some names. Now we want to convert these names into proper case. That is the first letter of every word should be in capital letter. So in the neighboring column over here, I type the first name in proper case and I hit enter. After that, I can click on data and over here you have the flash fill. And also remember that the shortcut for that is control E which you can see over here. So I will click on flash fill and within a moment you have all the names converted into proper case. Now what I want to do is I want to convert all these names into uppercase letter. So in the first cell over here I will type the name in uppercase letter and then I will press control E and you can see all the names get converted into uppercase letters. Well, now let us see the second example. In the second example, we have the names split into three columns. Now, what we want to do is we want to bring all these three names together. So what I'll do over here, I'll type the first name, the middle name and the last name. Then I would hit enter and I would press Ctrl E and you will have the full names in one column itself. Over here, what I want to do is, before the name, I want to attach a prefix of Mr. So what I do over here is, I type Mr. and then I type the first name as I want it the middle name and the last name. Then I hit enter and I press Control E and you will have all the names in the manner you want. Now let us see the third example. Here you have certain numbers and you want to convert them into percentage. So it is absolutely simple. You type the number followed by the percentage symbol, hit enter and press Ctrl E and all the numbers get converted into the percentage symbol. Let us see the fourth example. Here you have a GST number and what we want to do is we want to extract the PAN number from this GST. So you would be aware that if you exclude the first two digits, the next 10 characters are representing your PAN number. So what I will do is I will press Ctrl C, copy it and then paste over here and I will remove the first two digits. Then I will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then I will exclude the other characters and hit enter. So I have extracted the PAN number from this GST and then I would just press Ctrl E and the PAN number is extracted. Now let us see the fifth example. Now what I want to do is here you have the Aadhaar card numbers and I want that after every four digits there should be a space. So I type the number over here with a space after every four digits and then I press Ctrl E and you would have the other number in the format you want. Now let's see the sixth example. Over here we are having certain sales figures and if I type over here equal to sum and I try to total the sales, I would not be able to get the sales since the numbers are in a textual format. So what I will do over here is I will just type the first number 
and then I would press Ctrl E. This converts this textual number into a numeric value and then I can use the sum function to total these numbers and you can see the result. Let us go to the seventh example. Here you have the names written in the first name and the last name format. Supposing I want to reverse the order, that is I want the last name first and the first name later, I would type it in that order and then I would press Ctrl E and you would have the names in the reverse format. Let us see the eighth example. Here you have certain numbers and some of these numbers have a negative symbol preceding it. Supposing I want to remove the negative symbol from all these numbers. I will just type the first number without the negative symbol and then I would press Ctrl E and the negative symbols are gone. Now let us see the ninth example. Here you can see that you have certain name, then the age, then the location and the email address. Now I want to separate them but not in this order. I want the name first, then I want the location, then I want the age and then I want the email. So what I do over here is that I type the first name over here, hit enter and then press Ctrl E. So this will extract the names from this particular data. Now I want to extract the location. So I type the location and hit enter and then I would press Ctrl E. So the location is extracted. Then I want the age. So I type the age, hit enter, then press Ctrl E and the age is extracted. And finally, I want the email address, so I type the first email address, hit enter, and then press Ctrl E, and I would get all the email addresses. Taking a time, now I press Ctrl E, and you have the email addresses extracted over here. Okay, now why you have this name this way, the reason being, that there was no space after the comma so I give a space after the comma and now I press Ctrl E and you would have the proper email address. Now let's see the last example. Here you have the name and what I want to do is I want to extract the initials. So I type the first letter of the first name followed by a dot, the first letter of the middle name followed by a dot and the last name and I hit enter. And now I'll press Ctrl E and I will have the names written in the initials format. So friends, we have seen today 10 awesome usages of use of flash fill. So with this we end this lecture and see you again in the next lecture. Till that time, goodbye.